When pure water or a spray solution is applied to turf, only a small particle of droplets will come in contact with the leaf's waxy surface due to the high surface tension of the liquid. Adding an adjuvant lowers the surface tension, allowing water droplets to cover a greater area of the leaf surface, while also enabling better movement inwards to tighter areas like leaf sheaths and plant crowns. Furthermore, droplets with a high surface tension will be more likely to bounce off target surfaces compared to those with a low surface tension, which tend to be retained on contact. How does a spray adjuvant work? An adjuvant is a product added to a spray mix to enhance pesticide performance. In turf management, a surfactant is typically applied to the turf to reduce the risk or to remedially treat dry patch. A non-ionic surfactant, as recommended on many plant protection labels, is in fact an adjuvant designed to improve the product's efficacy. Adjuvants exist in different forms, with those used in tank mixes, comprising of a long-chain hydrocarbon group of atoms that is fat-loving, lipophilic, and a more water-loving, hydrophilic head on the other end. Adjuvants move between water molecules by floating to the surface, where they form a micelle layer forcing the water molecules further apart, thus reducing surface tension and improving adhesion. What benefits do you get from using an adjuvant on turf grass weeds? Adding an adjuvant to a spray mix offers a range of benefits. The lower the surface tension in a spray solution, the better the coverage, tension, spreading and leaf uptake. Product loss is also minimised, allowing more product to reach its target so you can achieve even better broadleaf weed control from a product like Casper. Additionally, when an adjuvant is added to a herbicide solution, it not only reduces runoff, it also alters the permeability of the leaf cuticle by forming a bridge between unlike chemicals such as oil and water, or water and the wax on a leaf surface. This is important when treating weeds such as sedges with monument liquid, as the herbicide's active ingredient is able to pass more easily through the outermost protection layer of the plant, therefore increasing leaf penetration and overall efficacy. Avoiding undesired loss. Reducing surface tension to the lowest level possible may not always have beneficial effects. High volume applications in particular can cause droplets to coalesce and run off target surfaces. It can also increase the risk of spray drift which has the potential to damage surrounding vegetation. To prevent this, follow the label guidance on water volume and adjuvant rate to get the best result. Also keep in mind, surface tension only decreases until the concentration reaches a certain point. Once this point is reached, adding more will not continue to decrease the surface tension. Conclusion. The appropriate adjuvant can aid in delivering maximum product performance and plant safety. However, the incorrect adjuvant or incorrect amount of adjuvant can increase the risk of poor product performance and injury to the plant. Always refer to the product label in order to choose the correct additive and correct dilution rates for each specific product. For more information, ask your Syngenta agent or call Syngenta customer service on 1800 022 035 or visit syngentaturf.com.au